What's up guys, I'm Duncan and this is some tech stuff. We're going to be covering an important update for streamers in this video and how it's become much easier and cheaper for streamers to stream from a single PC setup with fantastic quality. There's been a lot of hype around RTX cards and the new NVENC in the streamer community and especially in the beginner streamer community. And I want to talk about these improvements to NVENC, how they work, how they tie into the new OBS update which supports them very, very well and what difference they make to single PC setups. Now, for a long time, streamers have been restricted to using something called X264 encoding in order to get high quality streams. Generally, this is a very CPU intensive task and requires either a two PC setup or a ridiculously overpowered CPU like my own 7980XE, which costs an obscene amount of money. This makes it very difficult for new streamers to compete on a quality perspective when it comes to actual gameplay quality and quality of the visuals on your stream as it's a very very high barrier to entry for those high quality medium or better x264 setups as they are incredibly expensive so nvidia recently came out with a new nvenc encoder something that they say is better than the previous generation and in fact the claim that they had was that they could match x264 medium preset at 8,000 bitrate. Now, as Twitch currently only officially supports a 6,000 bitrate, that's what we're going to be addressing in this video, and we're going to be addressing the differences between X264 Medium and NVENC. So how does NVENC work? Well, NVENC, instead of leveraging your CPU in order to encode your video, uses the GPU, your graphics card, and it's existed for a very long time. Previously, the big limitation of NVENC was that at low bit rates, it looked awful. It was full of artifacts, blurring, and just generally looked muddy and uh, unpleasant. And so a lot of people moved away from NVENC encoding basically as soon as they saw it, and that's how we got to the position we're in today, where streamers swear by two PC setups. However, in the new graphics cards, in these RTX cards, there is a new NVENC encoding chip, and NVENC looks very, very different now. Now, NVENC has always looked fantastic at that 40,000 to 60,000 bit rate, and it's been used by YouTubers to record for years. But the new NVENC on these new chips, on your RTX 2060s, 2070s, 2080s, even the laptop chips have exactly the same encoder, and they all look much, much better at these lower bit rates, to the extent where we can now stream with NVENC encoding. I'm going to show you two pieces of footage here. I'm not going to tell you which is which. One is X264 medium preset of Anthem, and the other is NVENC on the new chip, on the new version of OBS, which prioritizes that new NVENC and really takes the best bits of that new encoding. And I'm going to let you decide for yourselves which one you think looks better and whether you see a difference. Join the Discord, be active, be a great guy. Have a great time. Another one of these monsters? Or... Are you coming back here, by the way, or like? Ah, uh, that's gonna be a struggle. What I'm is? fighting a bunch of outlaws. Well, you should have told me. I would have stopped. Stopped what? Killing? I'm attacking them for no reason. Then I'm not gonna have you come help me take all. Duncan gave everyone a handicap. Didn't put on his eye of Agamotto. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, I should have probably um, saved my ult, huh? Right, now that you've seen the clips, I can tell you that clip 1 was X264 medium encoding and clip 2 was NVENC encoding. Now, personally, at 6,000 bitrate, I can see a difference. I still do think that medium X264 looks slightly better. I can confirm that if you're on a laptop setup, you will be able to get this same quality. I can also confirm that the quality is the same from a 2060 all the way up to an RTX Titan, so you don't need the most expensive graphics card in the range in order to get the full advantage of this new NVENC encoder. Every single card in the range has the same high quality encoder. This is a fantastic step forward as a PC that could do single PC streaming with X264 medium previously would have run at the very least 
five to six thousand dollars my personal rig runs about nine to ten thousand dollars and i'm able to stream x264 medium and sometimes x264 slow depending on how cpu intensive the game is this new NVENC encoding, however, can be done on any of the RTX cards, and the cheapest RTX card comes in at just $350. This has allowed me to spec out a very respectable gaming PC for $800, which includes the RTX 2060, and allows you to stream at this phenomenal quality for a much, much lower price than you would expect to pay for similar quality when using X264 encoding. It's also much less of a hassle to have a single PC stream set up than having two PCs because a gaming PC plus a streaming PC, while it is great when you're console gaming with a capture card, when you go capture card with a streaming PC and a gaming PC, there are some issues that can occur. If you try and game at a different frame rate to what you're encoding and streaming out through your capture card, you'll often experience screen tearing. You also lose access to G-Sync, which I really love when I'm gaming. I know a lot of competitive gamers avoid it due to the added latency, but you do lose that G-Sync access. And there is another option called NDI, but unfortunately NDI does introduce delays and also it is streaming over your internal Ethernet network and can cause issues and be difficult to set up. This does eliminate all of those problems while giving you a much cheaper solution. So the barrier for entry for that high quality, good looking stream has just dropped from a roundabout for two gaming PC, for a gaming and streaming PC. If you want to go for a two PC setup, you're looking at about three and a half to four thousand dollars. You've dropped that all the way down to an eight hundred dollar price point for the lowest entry fee to get into this super high quality streaming. Now, of course, there is an upgrade here. There's also a $2,000 PC, which I've spec'd out, which will allow you to stream super high quality. Will still allow you to use X264 medium when doing console. So you just have two different profiles, one for console, one for PC, and will let you hit ultra on every game I have found with more than 60 frames per second. So you're never going to be dropping frames to your viewers. Uh, and it will let you do that at 1080p, 60 frames per second, every single game ever. Whereas the 2060 version, which is the $800 version, you may have to drop a few settings on a few games, but you're still gonna stream the vast majority of games at 60 FPS maximum graphics settings. This is actually a huge step forward. It is not overhyped. I promise you guys, it's absolutely fantastic. And if you keep your eyes on the channel this week, we're going to be building both the $800 PC and the $2,000 PC with full parts lists and a full guide showing you exactly how to build them exactly as I've spec'd them out so that anybody at home with that amount of money can build these PCs and get to streaming PC games like that at super high quality. Now, of course, you might already own an RTX card or you might be waiting for those videos later this week and want to do this. And you're going to be saying, Duncan, how do I set my OBS up for this? Well, currently, the OBS build that takes full advantage of this new MVENC is in beta, but there is a link in the description down below on how to download that. And I'm going to show you guys how to set your computer up for these fantastic NVENC encoded streams right now. Once we've got OBS open, we're going to go ahead and click settings. Once we're in our settings, we click output. And as you can see, I've already set this up for my X264 medium preset. We, of course, want to use the new NVENC. So we're going to leave our output mode on advanced. And we're going to want to change our encoder to NVENC H264 new. So the NVIDIA NVENC encoder new. Bitrate is super important here. The difference between X264 and NVENC grows the lower your bitrate. So at 6,000 bitrate, your NVENC is almost the same quality. But at 3,000 bitrate, the quality is going to be a massive difference between NVENC and X264. So unfortunately, you do need decent internet in order to upload at a 6,000 bitrate and get the best possible quality. Our preset is going to be max quality. Our profile is high. We do want to use our psycho visual tuning because what we're going to do is limit the frame rate on our games to 60 while we're streaming, which allows us to use a bit more of that graphic card overhead to make the quality even better. And we're going to go ahead and leave the max B frames on too. That is all we need to do for our settings here. Of course, in video you're going to want to have 1920 by 1080. That's a 1080p stream with 60 frames per second so that you can compete with all of your favorite streamers who have that 60 FPS 1080p goodness. If you are having trouble and you really, really want to, you can drop the output resolution to 864p. That's going to be the next step down. Some people try and do 900p. Trust me, 864 looks way better because there's no stretching or compression of your footage. 
once we've done this, we hit apply and okay, and we are ready to start streaming with that new Nvent goodness. It's going to look absolutely fantastic, guys. You've seen the footage on your screens. You know that the difference is really negligible between X264 medium, but this can be done on a PC that's just $800. With that said, I know you guys want to know, what is this magical PC that only costs $800 that Duncan keeps talking about? Well, that video will be out later this week. We're going to be building the PC on video, exactly how to build it, with a part picker list that shows you exactly the parts to get, exactly how to build it. You can follow me step by step as I build this stream machine, and you can get streaming with super high quality NVENC for just $800. Hey guys, I somehow managed to unfocus the camera, so I'm actually recording this outro on a different day, but I hope this video helped you guys out, showed you guys how NVENC works, how the new encoding is really, really good for future streamers and up-and-comers, and if you guys are really excited for those $800 and $2,000 PC builds showing you how to build the perfect NVENC PCs, those are coming in the next week or so, so please keep your eyes on the channel, and I will see you guys next time.